that all this all the confusion around sex and gender was a symptom of cult of civilizations in decline yeah well it was i got it from douglas murray oh douglas murray yeah this. douglas murray uh talked about this that it seems like every civilization when they're at the brink of collapse becomes obsessed with gender and he talked about ancient greece and ancient rome and it just seems like a thing that people do when there's no real like like physical conflict right so people look for conflict that doesn't exist and they find conflict in standard norms they find conflict in societal norms i was uh we did a thing, I did a thing with Peter Boghossian on wokeism as a religion because we had read, I had read John McWhorter's book, Woke Racism, which came out right around the time that San Francisco came out. And I just was like, and he argues that wokeism is a religion. He argues that like the obsession with race is a religion. So I just, we just created this taxonomy. We just listed, you know, climate change, race, mm. trans, yeah. drugs, whatever, all these things. And then we create all these religious categories and it was like really easy to fill it out. They all look like a religion. I called Abigail and I was like, what's the, like, what is the, what is trans as a religion? Is trans a kind of religion? She was like, let me get back to you. Uh, a year later, she calls me and she goes, hey, I think I figured it out. And I was like, all right, what is it? She goes, she goes, the new gender is a soul for secular people. It's something that you can't see it. It doesn't, there's no physical basis to mm. it. You have a sex, like you can, you know, take off all your clothes and, and you right. don't even need to do that. Actually. You just like, we can, we know that like we can recognize someone's sex very quickly and easily actually. So then what is the, so it's a new soul. So for me, I'm a huge, I think the secularization explains a lot because we know that people get a lot of psychological comfort out of believing that they have an afterlife, that they have a soul, that they go to heaven or they go, they go, they get reincarnated, that their lives have purpose and meaning and that they don't really die and that we live on. We just know that that provides a huge amount of psychological comfort. So there's always been this thinking that, that when you don't have that anymore, if you are taught to believe that at the end of your life, you just become worm food and that's it and you're dead. There's some people, my friend Steven Pinker is an atheist and that's what he thinks and he still believes, but he still, he also has a kind of spirituality around reason and the enlightenment. But I, I think all this stuff, it's sort of end of civilization, but it's also the end of this uh, end of belief in religion. Mm. Um, I don't know, Jamie, if you could, if you can pull it up, but I thought the Wall Street Journal published this amazing article about declining patriotism, declining belief in the country, you know, it's yeah. shocking. Patrick uh, Bet David sent me that. Yeah. yeah I is. mean, the numbers are, it's like, I think it's from like the late nineties until today over the last 20 years or the last 25 years. It was, uh, I mean, I, it's, first of all, it's terrifying. You just kind of go, I hope these trends are non-linear and they're going to, there's something's <laughs> going to turn around because it doesn't seem like it doesn't it, look good. Yeah. No. So you get that kind of the elites trying to gain control of the society, the society, not having any foundational myths. You know, yeah. yeah, these numbers here. Um, yeah, patriotism decline. Religion. religion. Having, and look at it, having children. The, the having children one, Jordan Peterson sent me this thing um, that 50% of women uh, that when they reach the age of 30 are not having kids. They don't have kids. And a, a, of those women, 50% will never have kids and 90% will regret it. <sighs> Which is it's very, we, we're in this very strange sort of uh, existential crisis yes. as a civilization yes. that's not being recognized. And in the meantime, we're distracting ourselves with things like Greta Thunberg's take on climate right. or, you know, whether or not gender is a social construct or, you know, whether or not, you know, the United States should be doing X, Y, or Z. It's like, no, the fucking whole thing is falling apart. The right. foundation of our civilization is right. falling apart. Right. Where the elites are waging war on the First Amendment. Yes. In the name of protecting democracy, right. they're undermining democratic institutions. In the name of, of maintaining legitimacy of these institutions. In the name of reinforcing ideologies, people are allowing them to do it because they're right. doing it on the right side.